Hi scholars, I hope you had a great weekend. I know I did. In today's video, we are going to start a new story and we're gonna review that we're learning all about meeting our needs and our wants. So I'm gonna play our video that we've already watched before, but this is just to remind you what we are learning about in reading. Meeting our needs and wants. All people need certain things. A need is something you must have to survive. People need food, clothing, and a place to live. A want is something you would like to have, but do not need to live. People often want more than they need. They must think about how important things are and how much they cost. Why do we make choices? So that's our big idea. Ding! Why do we make choices? Why do we make the choices to decide the things that we need versus the things that we want? And so that is what we're studying all about. Before we get started with our story, we're going to go over our little poster here meeting our needs and wants. We need things like food. We need clothing right? Those aren't the only two things that we need. We also need other things like water, shelter, love, right? Things that we want are like pets. We don't need them, but we would like to have pets and other toys like bikes, right? Those are not things we need. Those are things that we want or would like to have. To prep for today's lesson, you can print out a bubble map. Um, you only need one bubble map today. I know it says two, but today you only need one, and then tomorrow you'll need one. So if you want to print two now, you can do that and save yourself a step for tomorrow. But we are going to be using a bubble map today. So you can either print it. It's on the Google Drive under Thinking Maps. Or if you would just like to use a blank piece of paper and draw a bubble map, we can do that too. All right? Okay. So before we begin our story, we are going to go over um, an element in all of our stories that is something called a label. And labels help us understand an object or picture using words. So we're going to be reading the story and we're going to find lots of labels in the book. Okay? And we're going to go over what a label is. So I decided to find a picture that I thought you would already know. And what movie is this from? Frozen, right? Is this Frozen 1 or Frozen 2? I don't know. I think that's 2. I think that's 2. It could be 1. I don't know. But you see the characters that I think you know the names of. And then you see all these little white arrows. Do you see these white arrows? I put the arrows on there because we're going to add labels. So the first label we're going to add is for this. What is this white arrow pointing at? Who is it pointing at? Olaf. Do you see? We just put a label on the picture. So Olaf, and it's showing you that Olaf is him. What is this arrow pointing to? The water, right? The water, which is a river because they're flowing down the river. So we just added the label river. What label should we put here? What is this thing? A boat, right? It's actually an ice canoe. Canoe. Canoe is a type of boat. And it's made out of ice, right? So we just added the label to show that canoe is this right here. Now we need one more label to go here with this character. What label should we put to go with this character? Anna, very good. Great job, so you just helped me make labels for this picture. So when we're reading, I want you to notice that there are labels on the pictures inside the story we're gonna read, okay? All right, the story we are reading today is Meeting Our Needs and Wants. And I'm going to cross my fingers and hopefully it goes to the story right away. Oh, no, it expired. That's okay. I'll just pull it up right now. Okay. 
So here's our story. The title is Our Needs and Wants. Things that we need to survive and want. So we're going to be talking about the difference between need and want. Okay. If you take a look at the front cover, you can see an illustration. And what's in the illustration? What do you see? Don't just say one thing. Make it spicy. Tell me a few things. What do you see? I see a boy. And I see on this side, he's looking at a plate of cookies. And on this side, there's a plate with an apple. And he's looking at the cookies. He wants to grab the cookies. Now, I don't know why they gave us this picture. Are they going to talk about different foods? Well, remember, let's predict. The title is Our Needs and Wants. So one of them must be a need and one of them must be a want. Which one do you think he needs to survive to keep him healthy and alive? What do you think he needs? Food, right? But do you think he needs the apple or the cookie? He probably needs the apple. Apples are healthy, right? They keep you healthy, they let you grow muscles, keep you strong. Which one do you think he wants? I think he wants the cookies. Oh, do you see there's a need and a want, right? Okay, before I begin, the story is written by Amy Hutchings. That means she is the author. We're not going to read the entire story today. I'm going to read part of the story today and part of the story tomorrow because it is a big story and I do want to break it down and talk about it. Okay. So first, pictures to think about. Look at this picture here. What do you see? I see a building could be apartments or condos where people live. Why do you think they told us to talk about this picture? We're talking about things we need and we want. So why would they show us this picture? Don't we need shelter to live? Shelter's where you live, right? A place to stay like a home. So do you think a building is something you need or you want? A home. It's something you need, right? You need a home. What about this picture of the boy wearing his nice warm beanie and scarf and his snow jacket? Do you think that's something he needs or he wants? Yeah, I think he needs clothing to keep him warm, right? It's snowing, I can tell because I can see the little snow on his jacket and I can also see snow in the background, right? He needs to stay warm. Those are things he needs. And if you look at this picture, you can see a, them playing a game on the table. It looks like a game board, kind of like what we would do um, during our math STEM centers. Remember, Ms. Plain will put out a math board game on the floor and sometimes we play it. Yeah. Do you think that's something you need or something you want? I would say it's something you want. You don't need to play a game. You want to play a game, right? Okay. Here's the title again, Our Needs and Wants by Amy Hutchings. And then you have the table of contents. Remember the table of contents tells you where to find um, different titles and pages, and then it gives you the page numbers, okay? All right, let's flip to the first page. Here's our vocabulary, words to think about. The word afford, afford. Have you heard that word before? Afford means you are able to pay for it. So she can afford to buy something for $3. The next vocab word you'll hear is choices. Have you heard the word choices? Yes. Did you know you make choices every day? Yeah. You make choices on what to wear to school. You make choices on what to eat. 
sometimes I think it's on Fridays when we were at school that there would be um, multiple things to choose from to eat at lunch and you would have to make a choice. What did you want, right? Needs, the next word is needs. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna go back up to choices. We make choices every day. And here's the boy, he's deciding which one he wants to choose. Which one do you think he's gonna choose? Maybe the cupcake, but where is he looking at the apple? So I think he's gonna choose the apple. Okay, the next word is needs. Needs, that's what we've been talking about, right? Needs are things we must have to live. And then you see this picture of the child drinking water because we do need water, right? The next vocabulary word is save. Have you heard the word save? I think you have. Something that we would save in the classroom are our pride slips, right? Our husky pride slips. Sometimes I'll say save them in your desk because you can buy something on Fun Friday or if you want to turn them in, you can enter the big raffle, right? So we would save our pride slips. Did you know people can save money in a bank? Yeah, I bet your mom and dad do. Miss Paulino does. I put money in my bank. So that way, whenever I need it to pay for my home or for food, I can take money out of the bank and I can afford to buy things. When you're young, sometimes you have a piggy bank. Do you have a piggy bank at home? Okay. Next vocabulary word is shelter. Shelter is something we've talked about before. And the first time I think we talked about shelter is when we talked about how animals need shelter, right? We say animals live in a shelter. So a bear lives in a den. That's where he lives. And let's think of some other shelters we've talked about. We've talked about an igloo one time. That was just for fun. And then what's another shelter? What's your shelter? Where do you live? Do you live in a cave or a den? No. I live in a house, right? If you listened to my story last Friday about too many carrots with the rabbit, they went to different shelters, right? Rabbit's shelter was um, his burrow, his den, where he put all the carrots. And then Tortoise's shelter was his shell. And Birdie's shelter was the nest. And Squirrel's shelter was the tree. And Beaver's shelter was the little um, wooden cottage he made out of sticks on the riverbank. This type of shelter is called a mobile home or an RV. A mobile home is a type of shelter. It's actually a house on wheels. I'm sure you've seen one before. The last vocabulary word we're going over is the word wants. And we've also been talking about this this past week. Wants are things we may like but do not need. We do not need a phone. Did you know that you don't need a phone? We've talked a long time ago about past and present and how in the past, way long ago, they didn't have phones. And could they survive? Yes. They had to write letters and send it in the mail. Remember we talked about this? So a phone is actually something you want. However, it does make it a lot easier to live now in the present. All right. Here's the title for this page. It says introduction. Remember, introduction introduces what we're going to be talking about in the story. It tells you what we're going to be talking about. Here we go. We all have needs and wants. Needs are the things that all people must have to stay alive or survive. Wants are the things that we may like to have, but we do not need. We can live without them, right? Let's take a look at the illustration. I see a boy and I see a glass of water and a milkshake. One of them is something you need and one of them is something you want. Which one is the one you need? You need the water. Which one is something you want? The milkshake, right? You need water to survive, to stay alive. 
you want the milkshake, but you can live without it, right? Let's take a look at these pictures up here. And if you notice, there are labels underneath them. Remember, labels are what we just talked about with Anna and Olaf. If you look over here, you see a picture of food. Food is something you need. If you look over here, you see clothes. Clothes are things that you need. Let's take a look at this. This is kind of like the mobile home we saw on the last page, the home on wheels, but this is kind of an RV. And underneath it says shelter. Shelter is something that you need. You need a home. Let's look at this side. Over here you see pet. A pet is something you want. You don't need a pet, but you want a pet. What about a computer? Computer is something that you want. You don't need a computer. Way back in the past, they didn't have computers and they were able to survive. What about a phone, an iPod, or an MP3 player? That, <laughs> I, I bet you don't know what that is. That's like an iPod, and if you don't know what an iPod is, it's like a phone that plays music, but it looks like this. <laughs> okay, so you don't need an MP3 player or a phone. You want it, right? The last one, what about these games that the family is playing? Games, is that something they need? No, they just want to play games, right? If you look under the picture, there's labels too. It's pointing up, it says, do you need water to live? Yes. Let's look at this question. Do you need milkshakes to live? No, you just want that. Good. If I look up here in red, it says chapter one. That means the very beginning. So we're starting at number one. Here's our title. What? are our needs and it's a question mark so it's asking what are our needs we all need air food and water to live these are the things that help our bodies grow and stay healthy i'm going to annotate so i'm going to take my pen and i'm actually going to underline important words it says that we need air let's take a deep breath ready did you know that you're always breathing throughout the day? You're probably not thinking about breathing, but you're always breathing, right? So you need air. You also need food and water to live. Shelter is where we live and clothes are what we wear. So I'm gonna under the, underline the word shelter because we also need shelter at home, right? And we need clothes. Our homes and clothes protect us from hot and cold weather and keep us safe. If you did not have a shelter, you didn't have a home, you would have to be outside and what happens when it rains, right? We need shelter to protect us from the weather and that's the same reason we wear clothes to protect us from the weather, right? Let's go ahead and look at this caption down here. It says, water fact and it's we're looking at this little picture here, and this is the sink faucet, and there's water coming down, and then there's a cup right here. We use pipes to carry water into our homes. We do, there's pipes behind the walls at your home, and that's where the water comes out of your sink, in the bathroom and in your kitchen. The water we drink comes from rivers, lakes, reservoirs and glaciers so that's where all the water comes from did you know that and it gets cleaned before so it's not just water straight from the ocean or anything like that or the or i'm sorry not the ocean the rivers or anything like that right they go through a filter to clean out the water yes this can go on to a whole science lesson Let's take a look at this big picture up here. You see a family and they're eating outside, having a picnic and they're eating food. So that's all something that we need, right? If you look at this boy, he has an umbrella and a raincoat. Are those the things that he needs? 
Yes, it protects them from the rain. Let's look at the caption at the bottom. It says, all people have the same basic needs. And then it shows you a picture of shelter, a shelter here, and a shelter here. Great job. Okay, going back to my mouse. There it goes. Okay, so we're gonna stop our reading today here. Now is the time to go ahead and get out your bubble map. Let's remember when we use a bubble map, we use a bubble map to describe. So if you're using a blank piece of paper at home, I would like you to pause the video because you're gonna need to draw your bubble map. First thing you need to do is start with a circle in the middle and inside the circle, everybody needs to write the word need. N-E-E-D. We're gonna write the things that we need. Okay, then from your middle bubble, you're gonna notice there's a line to another bubble, and a line to another bubble, and a line to a bubble, and a line to a bubble, a line to a bubble, and a line to a bubble. And inside those bubbles, we're gonna put words of things that we need. Now, as I was reading, I was helping you, but you probably didn't know. I was underlining words of things that we need. So I'm gonna go back to the page. I want you to think of some ideas and then we're gonna come back and write them in. Here we go. Things that we need, air, food, water, shelter, clothes. All right, so I'm gonna start with air. We need air, ready? Everyone take a deep breath. Let's write air. And I'm not gonna worry about spelling, I'm gonna sound it out, ready? Take it out of your mouth in slow motion. Air, air, eh, 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 e, air, r. Now, if you noticed, air isn't spelled like that in the book, we spelled it differently and that's okay because we're using our letters to help us make sounds. Eh, eh, eh is E and er, er, er is R, right? Air, and if you want, you can try to draw some air and drawing some wind. What else is something that we need? Let me go back to the reading. Air, food, we need food. Ready, let's sound it out, pull it out slow. Food, F, ooh, 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 hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna guess O maybe, could be you. Food, D, D. Food, D. And you can draw a picture of food. What am I gonna do? What's something I need, an apple? I'm gonna draw an apple. All right, let's fill out another bubble. What's something else that we need? Air, food, whoa. W water, we need water, good. Let's pull it out slow, ready? Water, w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-w-
Let's find something else that we need. Air, food, water. Hmm. S-H together make the sh sound. Shelter. Shelter. Like a home, right? All right. So Miss Paulina just told you S and H make the sh sound. So I'm going to put S and H since I told you that. Sh. L. L. Shell. T. 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 Shell. T. R. Shelter. We know shelter is a home. And animals have different homes than we do, right? Animals have a different shelter than us. Animals have a different shelter than each other. So I did a little shelter. That's my shelter, a house or an apartment. Good. Let's think of something else we need. Hmm. Clothes. That's right. We need clothes. K -k -k. C. K L. Clo. Clothes. Z. Sure. Clothes. And I'm going to draw a picture of clothes. So I'm going to draw a t-shirt. And some pants over here. Your job is to fill this one out with something else that you need. Okay? So I know it might be hard to think of one more thing that you need, but you can even use an example of one of these ones. So you can even tell me a type of food you need, um, a type of shelter that animals might need or a type of clothing you might need. If you want to be specific, write one more thing you need. And that's going to wrap up for today's lesson. So I need you to fill this out, whether you printed it or if you drew your own, take a picture, send it on Class Dojo so I can see. Okay, we have, I'm trying to think. We do have two more videos today. I'm going to make a long A, so that's our letter this week, a long A video and a math lesson video, okay? It is a little bit of a longer day and you do have a little bit more work, but you are doing so good and you're making me super proud, okay? Don't forget to send me the photos because they make my day and they put a big smile on my face. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.